Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Pachapati and in this video, I'm going to explain you about a new question on PySpark which was asked in the recent interview and I got this question from a LinkedIn post. So I thought to solve it by my way. Right, so the question saying that we have topping and we have indigent column in one of the data frames. So it's a, it is written SQL, so we can you know, solve it in the PySpark too. Right, so we have pepperoni, sausage, chicken, extra cheese and we have all these costs over here. So what we have to do, we have to fill up so we want to make a pizza, right? We want to make a pizza and in pizza we have, we, we, we will be, you know, using all these indigents and I need to find out the cost for all these things. So if you can see, if I want to keep, if I want to make a pizza with pepperoni, sausage, chicken, then the cost will be like 1.75. And then if I choose like pepperoni, chicken, extra cheese, then it will be a different cost and like that, right? So let's see how we can do that. Before that, and also I'm making this course, you know, project data automation, procurement data automation. We have source, staging, bronze, silver, gold layer, dashboards, emails, delta lake, DLT pipeline, and so. So if you want, you can check out this course. I'll add the description. I will add the course link in the description box. This is the course, by the way. You can check it out. And apart from this, we have a lot of courses available over here. Thank you. Let's go back here. So I already have created a, this data frame and you know, we have, you can see we have all the same thing. So what I'm going to do and yeah, I also want to tell you one thing. So in order to solve this question, you might be thinking that, Hey, how, how I can solve it. So stop the video and just think about the solution. So when I see this photo, when I saw this photo, I understood that I have to do either self join or a cross join, right? So here I'm gonna do a cross join because I need a mapping. So see, I need three three pairs, right? So ideally I have to do three times two times cross join and three times self join, right? So I'm I will be using here the cross join way. So what I can do is I'll go over here. Uh, what I did I let me write it let me write it down so that I'll explain you also. I already wrote the code, but I want I want you guys to you know understand this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create here a alias, right? It's T1, so let's copy this. And we have T2, we have T3, right? And then we have here T2 and we have T3. With that, what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna create a df underscore final. And here I'm gonna do, no not like this i'm gonna do here cross join t2 and display df underscore final now if i do this you will see we have two two pairs over here now if i do cross join again Now we have, you know, we have three pairs, but you can see we are also getting repeated values. What I want, I want pepperoni, sausage, chicken, like this I want, right? So, uh, and you know, I, and I also do not want that this row should match with this. I, rightly, I have to keep like pep, uh, topping one, uh, topping underscore name. This row should not be matched with this row and this row should not be matched with this row. So with that, what I'll do, I'll just put here filter and I'll write call of uh, t1 dot topping name this this is the one condition I have put right and I'll copy the same thing put it here and clause and copy the paste the same thing and instead I'll just put here t2 with t3 right save it and here I'm gonna write pi spark dot sql dot functions dot call right for now let it be and if i do this now you will see that hey we are having hmm, t1 dot topping name t2 dot topping name this ends over here oh it should be t2 no sorry now, now you will see that we have this output. Now we have four rows only. 
right now what i have to do see again go to this photo understand it so what actually usually i have to do i have to concat the rows and sum the sum the cost column right so here in the select in the select only right hmm. in the select uh, select or maybe i can use here with column also with column pizza concat ws comma with call of t1 dot topping name this yep now if i run this we'll see what is happening like what is that i've got i got like this very good man and then the same thing i have to do it for the cost cost and here it comes automatically right i think something is missing so i'll just put here one more bracket now you'll see we have we got the output but i do not want extra columns so either i can delete them or i can choose the specific columns right so i'll just go over here like this run this and it will give me the selected columns Oh, okay we have the cost okay i can say i can say over over here new underscore cost and yep now i can do a order by call of new underscore cost in decreasing order okay and with this also i can do a order by So if first it will check the cost, if the cost are same, then it will go with the topping names and it will do a ascending order sort because I have not using any discrete function, right? So this is the answer which you will get it, right? I hope you understood this concept. It is very important question to be honest. It's not that easy, you know, since I am working on the company, I know like, hey, if I see multiple branching then rather i will use cross join or the self join right so solve this question by your own and try to give me the solution in the description box and i know that you will be giving me a better solution till then thank you bye bye we'll meet you in the next lecture